then this is just going to go plug into my 50 amp outlet that I'm going to put up in here. So what I got to do is go from the coal back here into this one with a T because I got to leave the, the cold line intact and then I have to go from here into the ha. Well, I'm going to have to move that down because I think I'm going to cut this off and leave a long run. So this thing's got to be screwed up in there, screwed up. Give you a little bit of more flexibility in the pipes, you know. So now, unfortunately, I had to cut the pipes. The valves are off. So I'm going to drain back a lot of water. Gotta go get the bucket. Alright. Don't want to get you guys in the water here. Get all the water out of the pipes if you're going to sweat. So let that hang on there a while. Alright, I got to cut the other one back here and uh, drain that and we'll come back. I'm starting on the hot water pipe now. And if you notice, I'm going to drain the cold out of this first. bucket too much. You know, I'm just giving this a half a turn every turn. I'm not reefing on it, you know. I'm not driving it in too hard, too fast, she said. So, let them drain. And what I'll do before I go to solder them is I will boil them out. I'll take the torch and start back before the solder joint and walk the water out. Now I'm going to get a lot of water out of this pipe because it goes up to the sink valve which the plumber has already plumbed in. And I haven't opened it because it's all taped off of blue tape and he's tiling. So I am just... drain back for a little while. Meanwhile I can get my, uh, I'm going to cut in a uh, filter and I'm going to put it right here where this coupling is where the plumber already did it. I'm going to cut this off and cut this off the right length and uh, put a filter right here to keep the uh, any dirt, grit, debris from getting into the, into the into the water heater. The water heater is a fine screen inline filter kind of and if that gets plugged up we had trouble at the lake where we have algae in the water but I don't think we'll have that trouble here. So I've got to cut it here, pull out this, make put it into the fitting and work our way through. So, I don't know if you guys have ever sweat pipes before, but you gotta make sure, I'm not showing you, am I? I'm gonna cut off here, and cut this, this uh, coupling out, and put in my water filter right here, to keep any garbage out of the water heater filter. All right. You guys may have seen me use this little guy before. This is my little mini cutter. And you give that, it's hard to crank because it doesn't have 
but it's made for tight spots like this. And I usually go around a couple times and give it a good screw in. I've got one even smaller than this that it's almost impossible to use. I can't turn that big... I can uh, turn it. The big cutter. I heard some kid talk and it turned out to be my wife watching TV. So, all right. I'm gonna have to leave that that nut on the on the valve over here because it's a compression and it's already been compressed into the pipe. There we go. So you just gotta have a little patience with this one. I don't know if the crescent wrench fix, fits this. Was that the problem last time? Doesn't fit the nut. No, it doesn't fit the nut. So we gotta. This guy, like so, and that guy, and hopefully this will break free. There we go. Now that's not the stereo on there, and I've got to solder my pipe adapter from this to the water uh, filter. And actually, if I do it right. I measured this right. I'll be able to fit my water filter in there. And uh, I won't need any couplings. Okay. How am I gonna do that? Oh I gotta put a I gotta put a coupling because it has to screw into the water filter and I can't turn the water filter. Uh, onto the pipe. Let me get that. Well, I come to the conclusion here, looking at this piping, that um, where I've taken this out, I'm going to have to put a union back here to make it easy to get together, because uh, I got to be able to screw the pipe into this plastic water filter, and I can screw this one in because it's got a set screw thing in it. So I'm going to cut that first, and then we'll just start putting it together and measuring it. And then I can screw the union part together and uh, put a little nipple in there. All right, that's what we're going to do. Okay, well, we're setting up here to uh, solder this. This is the part that I took out of the valve, and uh, I cut and reamed this. Your uh, pipe cutter has a reamer in it. This is the threaded part that needs to go into the fixture into the filter so I am going to I found my solder I have to put flux on this and I need to clean the pipe and, uh, gotta find my torch I brought my torch in here somewhere all right we'll come back when I find the torch all right so how do we clean this oh shoot I have, I have this really nice tool it has a brush for cleaning internal fittings. You want your pipe right down to bare copper. And then it has an external or for polishing off the corrosion and uh, oxidation on the outside of your pipe. Just like that. And I'm going to run it over a piece of sandpaper. Make sure it's nice and aggressive. Alright. So I'll wipe the debris off on my shirt, of course. Soldering flux. Now I just put a dab on my finger. You don't need a ton. Put a dab inside the female fitting. We're going to put them together. Now, how do we solder this? I got to find something to clamp this up in to solder it. 
So I have that clamped in a pair of vice grips, very, very lightly, so as not to bend the pipe whatsoever. Just holding it. And the, the, uh, fl uh, the solder will flow to the heat. So when you heat the fitting, see it start to flow it doesn't take a lot don't keep filling it okay because it wicks right in there from capillary action now, I forgot to do something I've got a just a damp paper towel here and I'm going to heat that again before it flows. wipe it and that will make it look real nice and I guarantee if you look down in there there is solder all the way in that fitting and if it leaks I'm full of bunk right I think I do need a little more <laughs> Saw it run right in there. Let it cool down just a little bit and then wipe it. And you won't have the green get on there either. Okay, so there's one side done. And uh, I'm going to screw this right back together so I can make my measurements, but I got to wait for that to cool just a few minutes. I decided what I need to do is I need to put this together piece by piece. So that you make sure this, by the way, you put your input into the input side. And we're going to use some nice Teflon tape here. I found the paste just does not work for me. I had plenty of leaks with the paste. So you get your Teflon tape, which is kind of staticky and weird. You get that laid out. You start it at the top and you go around the way the fixture or you know the fitting tightens. I guess I put about three wraps. Don't get it over the edge of your fitting or else it'll get pulled loose and get sucked into your water lines. So we don't want to do that. And you also can't super tighten these in because you'll crack your plastic fitting and then your then your tang ain't no good no more. So you can always loosen the compression fittings on the valves and tighten them later. So I'll get that guy in there. I might as well do the other side. These are brass fittings, so they shouldn't corrode any in the water anyway. They'll turn dark. But... Because these are tapered, so as you screw them in, they're like a wedge. So yeah, they can get enough pressure on this plastic to crack it, and we don't want to do that. So those are just nice and snug. And now I'm going to screw a piece of pipe with the compression fitting that I just did. The furnace is starting, but it's actually very quiet. You won't hit the inside. She's already tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it here. Get my crescent wrench.
the crescent wrench is not really a crescent wrench. Crescent is a brand, not a type. Again, we can always tighten these up because we have fittings that slip on each side. So there's that guy. I'm going to go put him up into the valve and then we can start making measurements for the other nipple and I'm going to put a union instead of a coupling so uh, we can easily take it apart. So this is the cold of course. this nice clean one that came out of there. I'm just going to cut this uh, coupling off and uh, then I'll use the same it. process as before. I decided while I was doing this, I might just as well put this on the end of this nipple too. I've already got it fluxed. It's all fluxed up. Everything's always fluxed up. Alright, this is going to smoke and burn, of course. Add this extra weight here to hold it. You don't have to uh, put your solder all around the joint. It wicks right around there just with capillary action. So you only got to add the solder to one part of the joint. Now that's a perfect joint. Okay. And that fitting goes in just about a quarter inch from the end of this. Now I got a little give on this, a little give and take. But if I put my fitting together and look down in there, where that taper is, it's basically a quarter inch. So it goes in that far. About there, I would say. So. I got my mark. I want to do a little more than that. A little shorter than that. The back side of the mark, where I want to cut it. And, you know, there's a little stretch to that, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Get All right, so I got you a fresh battery, and I took that water filter down, and I determined that I really need to cut this at the back of the mark. Quarter turn or so every time around. I guess I looked at that a million times. Got the reamer. 
That'll take the burrs out a little bit. I need to clean up. I need to clean up the part of my bit here. I'm gonna to have to solder this one in place, of course. We're gonna move these this wire way down out of the way. We don't want no burning wire. any water left in this. That's really hard to get that bad corrosion off. So what I've got I've got to get this good and clean and I can't break my pipe while I'm at it. <laughs> Gonna have to wait a while before I handle that. Can I go over here and put my flux on? You don't need to see me do that. Take my damn rag and clean it off a little bit. Okay, so I went and grabbed a Q-tip because that wire is still, or that pipe is still hot. Put some flux on her. brass. I got my lock nut on here. All right. We all know the drill. Let me get my wet paper towel here. I'll keep him nearby. I'll put him right there. That's very, very hot, so we're going to let that cool down for a few minutes before we put our test fit our uh, water filter in there. And then we got to work over here. Put our... Uh, our water heater up in here.
goes almost to the edge of the beginning of the pipe. So I'll take that much off. guys to cool. While I'm doing so, I'm going to clean up my tees. I decided I'm going to use two 90s and uh, two compression fittings. So I'm going to put my, my valve right above this. So I'll probably uh, solder a stub in this because I'm going to go with a 90 and then over into that. So here's my valve. I got just about enough to make it. But I'm going to have to put a stub in that one. I want to be able to loosen that and twist it out of there a little bit, I think. It doesn't matter a few more inches, a couple more 90s and half inch pipe, it just it ain't going to matter. this thing. You can see there's a compression fitting right here. And my T is going to be right here. So I'm going to come up in 90 and straight into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from here now and build my way out. And I just got to leave enough slack and everything so I can uh, that fit. So I'm just gonna eyeball this part, but I want this pretty close. I'll put it right in the middle. So I'm just gonna cut that guy off right by the label and just build it as I can. I'm just gonna take now that I've measured this nipple, and I'm gonna make two of them that size. to it. Dang it, Bobby. Okay. 
we got our two nips. Clean up my tea. Comes on like a dream, peaches and cream, lips like a strawberry wine. Ouch, that was hot. She's six and so is the players. <laughs> All right, I'm just making this look nice. She's beautiful. I could see that solder as soon as you touched it in there, it went right around the whole joint. All right, I got these guys cooled off and I'm getting them ready. I'm not going to take it apart again. So. Everything's all fluxed up. I hope not. She comes on like a dream. Peaches and cream. Lips like strawberry wine. Alright, so I got my first fitting put on there. I got that tightened together. I got my valve. Hopefully I got enough, even if I have to tip it to get the 90 low enough. So I gotta start fiddling around here guys. Okay, okay. And it's gonna go into the water heater. The pipe here is Quite four and a half. And I got the bottom of the pipe is four and a half there, so I got just enough to fit it in there. Well, I think my first 90 needs to be soldered with just a little, a little fitting, just long enough to go into this thing. I'm trying to, I think I got the first set of fittings ready and I need to slobber it up. I already slobbered it up. Got my damp towel, paper towels here. Put them right there. I think that's where I want it. I know this one fits together too. That one's together nice and tight. first. Too hot and you'll blow it right out of there, see? And once you see it come around to the bottom and start to drip, you know that it's full. Very simple. Now we just gotta let that guy cool so I can try the fit. I've got my 90 built.
and I've got my compression valve here and the compression valve or the heater gets this one in to go into there so hopefully that's what it all looks like when we're done I think I'm going to leave the levers sticking downward actually So I think we're good with this one. Tightening is all that's left. How's that look? It's almost like somebody knew what they were doing. I don't know. B. Now I gotta do the same thing over here. I don't know if you can see that pipe stubbed out. I just stubbed that pipe on the water heater and it's gonna do the old Pretty good at eyeballing. Take my mark, cut her off, and that'll be our side nipple. All right, well, I made that measurement and cut that off, and I've already made my other little stub here. So we're going back over to the soldering table. And, uh, I'm gonna put this guy this end. Clean the inside of this guy. He's already been cleaned once, but we uh, soldered and then you get oxidation from the heat. And I'm not sure if that affects you, so I'm going to flux it. not quite ready to go in yet. Flex the end of this. And flux that. You guys are fluxed. What's nice is, is when you heat this, the flux is actually when it goes to work. It really kicks in then. Alright, so... this guy on to weight this guy down a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna lay that guy on top just to hold him fast. I burn myself somehow. I feel uh, every time I get near a little heat, I get a little tinge. Now this doesn't matter the angle because I'm going to have to adjust it. I really love soldering pipe. Again, you don't want to get it too hot. Because you'll boil it right out of there. See that suck right in there? That's capillary action and it's just... It's everywhere, and I know that joint is good. I actually have 100% confidence in that. Wiping them just makes them look nice. There you go. So he's going to have to cool for a little bit, and I'm going to have to put this other one into the fitting over there. So that we can... adjust and measure 
and this is going right in like so. And as we drive that on, it pushes it all the way up in there. See, I got that nipple as short as I possibly could. Finger tight will hold that. Now we got to get this put up in the. While that's cooling, I'm going to put this up in the rafters again. I know you don't have. I know you don't have a perfect view here. I'm doing what I can. that compression ring down deep. All right. Now I'm just going to take a quick measurement to see how much offset there is on this. This might have to be a little steeper. Bottom of the pipe is four and three eighths. And it's almost four and three eighths here. So I think we're pretty damn square. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Tilt that in just like that. We'll get him test fit. Actually I can dip him in the sump pump again. Oh no, not in the sump pump. That's a, the water looks crystal clear. Oh, don't worry. It's like spring water. If we were desperate and power was out or something we could probably drink on that. I'm excited. I'm so happy to be getting this done. So hopefully, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Man, those are almost lined up perfectly. You see that? The old guy's all right. You got the wire in the way here. Looking at the toilet pipe. Well, that's the that's pretty darn close alignment, don't you think? I need to tilt that guy just a little bit. And that guy's right there. And I'm gonna... And I'm gonna... Measure that. And how I'm gonna measure that is I'm just gonna take a ruler, or a tape measure. See, the pipe sags a little bit here. To my benefit. Looks like two and a quarter. Okay, I'm gonna do a two and a quarter pipe, and we'll try okay. to solder this uh, dual ninety concoction here. See that suck right in there, baby. I have no doubts there will be no leaks on the solder joints. I can't guarantee, I can't guarantee the uh, compression joints. Now I gotta look almost straight up at it. That's what I got. <laughs> oh, whoa! I don't dare solder this connector on this. Now this guy, we should be able to drop the compression ring and slip him on. That's damn near perfect, guys. Guy 
you too bad for an old guy. Oh, I wish I could solder that just like it is. But I like it. solder. fittings and I get my I'm proud of that that's a pretty damn good job. All right well I'm at the point where I'm tightening up all the fittings and you never want to tighten one of these fittings without holding it holding the other side so We have to reef these two awful tight. And onto the water heater itself. I tighten this one on the ground. Okay. 
Well, I've already tightened this one that I'm on on the ground. Duh. I mean. Start softly tightening this one, then I'll put the wrench on it. That's a square fitting, so that makes it nice. tight either so I gotta make sure I tighten them up. But that's just above head height so I won't bang my head. I didn't tighten these compression sit fittings up either. Well, that's it for now guys I'm gonna take a break it's seven o'clock or so I don't have any way of pressure testing this because all the fittings in the bathroom upstairs are still wide open to the air the whole point of this video is I'm gonna be getting rid of this whole mess I don't need this electric water heater anymore and it's a really nice one by the way and I'm gonna be getting that water softener out because we're on city water now and it's quite soft so I'm gonna have to cut that blue pipe off and back feed it into this pipe I would like to just cut all this ugly crap out and just start over again which I might because I got my two half inch lines there I'm tempted to rip all this shit out and uh go from the three quarter inch pipe to where it splits to each room and that's all I need because we're just not going to be using this water heater and water softener anymore. Look at the extra room we've got down here. I love it. Gonna get my bathroom done in a couple another week or two. Alright, God bless. Take care.